y'all what's up welcome back to my channel my name is nora today we have another seafood mukbang oh and also i have a steak right there y'all i went to in dixie and they finally had some healthy looking snow crab legs only problem is they're short but it's all good as long as they ain't them skinny ones with no meat in it but y'all let me say grace right quick Amen. And we're going to start to eating. Y'all know I got my zero sugar Kool-Aid or juice. It's all good. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all having a good day. I'm tired from yesterday. We had us a nice little date. Me and my husband had a day off on Saturday. And we had a good time. Man, I see a lot of people getting married. Marriage is hard work. It ain't easy. But it do make it a little easier when you're friends. When you start off at friends and that's your best friend. It make it a little easier. You still have to learn each other though. Tell you one thing, if you think about getting married, you're second guessing yourself, just postpone it for a little bit till you're ready. Till you know you're ready. I know a lot of people. Think it's all fun and games until the shit hit the fan and stuff ain't going the way you thought it was gonna go. Don't run for better or for worse. That I means you gotta stick that thing out. Y'all gotta figure it out together. Unless they keep God in your marriage, trust me, keep God in your marriage. Yeah, I've been looking at the wrong end. My camera way up there. Don't let the enemy in. And I tell you, soon like we were we was on when we was up and up, everything was all good, something will happen. But if y'all hear something in the background, that's my husband in the background. I don't worry about it. I don't know what he's doing, but that's what noise you know. But when you when you have when you keep God in your marriage and even when stuff seems like it's going bad, you know, pray about it. Pray with each other. Pray for each other and watch it work out. Some things may not happen overnight, but as long as you keep faith. And you keep going forward. You will see things start turning around. Trust me, I know. I'm happy to still be married to my best friend. Even through all the ups and downs. We still standing. And keep everybody out your marriage. Don't be telling everybody your business. 
when y'all going through stuff, if you had that one person or two people, that's it. But everybody ain't rooting for you. Everybody's not rooting for you. But to everybody who's getting married, I pray you have a long, prosperous, oh, shoot, marriage. I fight to the end. For all those who are going through right now, a rough patch, hold on. Stand strong. See counseling, spiritual counseling, mental counseling, whatever you need. You married that person for a reason. Obviously, you love them. Unless you was a gold digger or something. Oh, and I'm not using no knife, no fork. Mm, no crook. I found this little bootleg 57 songs at Walmart. It's pretty good. Another thing, when you're seeking advice, like, I do have a single friend that I can talk to if need be. But go to like your 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 pastor, first lady or somebody or um, somebody in your family has been married for a long time. Don't go to the ones that think they marriage is perfect because we all know nobody's perfect. Everything ain't good and rainbows. You won't have a fall out by something. It's okay. You hear me? It happens. We had to learn a lot. Trial and error. But here we are. Going on 12 years. Maybe it's simple. We still have disagreements and things. But what used to bother me? I can get around it because mm, I'm gonna stop that because I learned how to deal with it. Stuff he used to annoy me with, I need to do it back. I 
like, but you want to hug, don't you? You want to kiss, don't you? It's okay. It's okay. You kind of just want attention. Nothing. Nothing. Don't lose yourself in your marriage. Don't lose yourself. And what I say by that is sometimes we tend to try to do everything to make our spouse happy and we just neglect ourselves. Because you're too busy trying to make them happy. And we just like, yeah, I'll worry about me later. And you need, you later never come. You too busy to worry about him or her. Make sure they got on whatever. But take time to yourself. You be walking around here depressed and looking half crazy. So good. But yeah, if you're going through something right now in your marriage, don't worry about it. Keep praying. Keep pushing forward. Talk to each other. Communicate with each other. And it'll be fine. So if you don't tell each other what's wrong, you just, you know, walk around mad. Think somebody should read your mind. Anyone you know, like that. It's not going to work like that. I promise you. Y'all going to be walking around in circles. For those who are married and haven't had kids yet, don't worry about it. Just keep trying. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. That's what we're doing. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, we're okay. We have to talk about that before you get married, though. We had that conversation. Hmm. I know my husband don't want no football team no more. Want no football team coming up out here anyway. I only want to shop clothes when them two pop out. Shop when we close, but when we close down. Now, this is good. Y'all let me know in the, in the comment section what y'all, what kind of videos y'all want to see. My husband and I have been doing um, reviews. My dude is like, kind of deep in the oven too long. 
We've been doing reviews on ice cream. Um, and we did um the KFC donut. I got that video to sit too. As y'all know, these videos be pre-recorded because I work during the week. Where the heck you gotta go? I'm back there. But yeah, these videos be pre-recorded because I work during the week. So in my free time, I make YouTube videos, which I have been enjoying making videos. My husband has a channel too, Angry Black Man. Y'all go check him out too. Two of my nieces is on here. Sister, sisters. I don't know what to do so. Good, yeah. I'm trying to eat it before it gets cold. 
Oh, excuse me. Mm. Mm. I got my napkin. Yeah, man, that can. Thank you, baby. That's how all these legs look. Mm -hmm. That's how all this um, it's my crab legs look. A little short one. Take too long when I put it back in the oven. Yeah. Sounds good. I don't feel good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little pink. It's a little pink paint. And now. You got one of them mm -hmm. uh, I ain't eating them. Well, it's good. Mm -hmm, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's not hot. Mm. It's not hot when you have Oh, it's good, yeah. I'm getting full. I'm about to wrap this up. This is so good. We're going to be fasting for the next two days. Well, for two days. <laughs> yeah, I pray for them. Only water. I mean, when you be fasting, feel like your stomach eating itself. I wasn't even gonna make it all two days this time. But then my husband the one who was initiating the fast, then he fold. We gonna see. He the leader and I fold right behind. I'm like, yes, let's go get something to eat. I'm finna cook. 
such a weak one. <clears throat> oh man. <clears throat> we have come a long way together. I'm glad we're doing keto together. It works better as a team. You can motivate each other. Like, right now, he can eat a whole lot of stuff. Then I can eat stuff, keto stuff, and then it's like the scale go up on me, and the scale barely moves for him. Well, how'd that happen? I'm like, it's okay, baby, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We want to punch that scale in the face. Y'all work with me because I keep looking at myself and not looking at the camera. I don't think this front fixing thing is a good idea because I keep looking at myself. Camera hold over there. I'm still talking to y'all. I'm talking to y'all. I had to put all this stuff up, pack it away. So you want to move all temptation out the way. When we first started doing our family, she's sneaking here eating um, pepperoni and cheese. Cause he couldn't hear it. He was like, what you gonna do about it? nothing? Being here sneaking pepperoni and cheese. Oh. My other one was um it was a uh, little baby mini pickles. You get a big old jar from Sam's. I was doing them too, but he could smell it on my breath. Oh, well, I didn't sneak them no more. Or, what else I always sneak? Oh, he wouldn't be here when he wouldn't be in the room with me. I was gonna get some um, pork skins and sneak them. Or he'd be in there doing orders and stuff. But then I stopped. I just stopped cheating. We start fasting with him. Mm -hmm. Real team. So we should do it together. Teamwork. So when my teammates stop fasting, I'm going to stop fasting too. We're a team. He be folding, y'all. He tell, let's go three day fast, second day, I'm about to die. Let's eat. Don't you tell me. That don't mean you got to deal for that. It's okay, baby. We're all family. We got a family, baby. Big dream. I think that's the wrong word. <laughs> you know, from other uh, things. We got a family. Look, they said they're a family, and they sat there and talked shit about that lady. 
That's what I'm gonna do. True. And some of gonna be just a quick pop of the yellows, and they'll be done with all my tricks. They want some other stuff. All right, y'all, I'm going in my video. All right, we're gonna go in video. I talk to y'all later. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Shut it up, Tammy. Ring the notification. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. what, you, what you get. But y'all have a good day, good night, good week, whatever it is when you're watching this. Like I said, these are pre-recorded. Girl, I have to work during the week. But I enjoy doing these videos. So I'll see y'all again soon. I'm gonna leave it alone. I ain't gonna leave them up. See y'all later.